So there are times when you need to use the same color across designs. Maybe you need to use the same font. Maybe you need to use the same effect or even a shading or shadow on an element or a piece of text. Well, with Kittle's new brand kit feature, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set all of that up so that you don't have to go in, use the color dropper tool, go into a project, copy it, paste it over to another project. I'm gonna show you how to set it all up as your own brand kit so that you can easily recall it across things like your label design, or all of your branding elements, your ads, everything that you need. So let me go ahead and walk you through how that works right now. So I have this amazing template here for a lime fizz, looks like a tequila drink. And all I've done is just copied the little logo right here, which is Splash. And I'm gonna walk you through how you would set up the brand kit from two different methods. Now keep in mind there is the brand kit, which you can see over here on the left. And we can go ahead and add a new one from here by going down here and selecting the plus button. Or what we can do is have an element selected and then go over here on the right side panel. Now, you're gonna notice that the right side panel is looking a little bit different since we've updated it to include the brand kit. And that is because we've made things much more streamlined before there were two panels up here on the left and right that you would have to skip back and forth between when you added text, you'd have to go over, select an effect and all that. So now everything is a lot more streamlined here on the right side panel that you can just instantly add by clicking on the plus. So for example, if I've got this lime text selected, I can hit text shading. And then what it's gonna do is go ahead and apply that first shading. I can click across between all of them I can still change my color all of that stuff and if I don't want it I can go ahead and remove it by hitting the minus button what you may also notice is that there are the four buttons right here next to text shading and that's because when I click on this I can still have this as a style inside my brand kit so for example if I wanted this outline maybe I wanted this outline to be the same color yellow and maybe I move the uh, the angle to be somewhere around right here and we can mess with the uh, the offset right here. Maybe I always know I'm gonna use this text shading. Well, when I have this exactly how I want it, when I click the styles button here, what I can do is give it a name if I want to. So I could call it label shading label something and then I could add it to my new brand kit. When I do that, when I select new brand kit, which I'll go ahead and do right now, uh, I'm gonna give it a name. So we are gonna go with Splash. Whoops, not so ash, Splash. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create it from here. Now you could have easily done that on the left side panel down at the bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and click create because what we're gonna do is start adding things to our brand kit. Now you see over here on the left side panel, it says splash and there's just, everything is blank, right? So that's why you see this little zero right here. I can also edit, I can rename the, the, the title if I want it to be something else. But now you see all of these new styles. So what I'm gonna do, instead of just starting right in the middle of this, is I am going to start with our type. Now, this is the type that's on the label and I can show you how to add that which is fine but this is the type that we are going to add as our main font for our splash uh, brand kit so over here in the right I'm gonna click on these four dots which is you can see there it says styles I could also go over here by the way and click new style and I could go through and I could find the font if I wanted to create it from scratch in the left side panel but I've already got it selected, so I don't need to go over there and do that. I can just select the four dots, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this as a text. So I'm gonna click Create Text Style. Now I'm gonna call this Logo Type, or you can call it whatever you want, and Splash is already selected. I could select any one of these other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and select Splash. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit add style to brand kit. And now when I do that, you can see over here, it says logo type, okay? And then it also shows me things like uh, the size and all this different stuff. Now, it has a shading effect on it. And so this is perfect because we're gonna go ahead and add that as a style as well. So down here in text shading, it's already got that color saved. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is go to the styles here and I am going to put this as logo 
uh, let's go outline. You can also see on the type here that there's the effect taking place. And then yes, I'm going to add it to splash and I'm gonna hit add style to brand kit. And now over here on the left, you can see everything being reflected that I do from the four dots over here to over here on the left. Now at any point that I don't want these, if I hover over these, there is a delete style button. And just to show you exactly how it works, if I click the delete style button, it's gonna prompt me to make sure that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm and now it's gone, okay? What I'm gonna do is go ahead and add this style back as my shading. So I'm gonna put logo outline, you could also do outline, uh, logo shade, whatever. And I'm gonna hit that and add it to there. Now, one thing I can do is go ahead and add my color. So you can see here, there are two colors selected. These are grouped together because these are two shapes that are making up this logo design. And if you'll notice, there are the four dots again right next to it. So what I can do is go ahead and click that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a color style. Uh, you can leave this as the name or we'll just put yellow because that's what it is. I'm going to add it to splash. Go ahead and add style to brand kit. There it is. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I want to make sure that I have this selected. I'm going to go over. Now you can see, by the way, that the selection color has now become the name that I set it. Right? It still shows me the actual uh, code, the RGB code, if you will. But uh, it's already selecting the colors for you know that I have attached to my brand kit. So I'm going to do the same thing with the green. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click Add. And we're going to go... Um, green i mean i know that these aren't very exciting names but this is just for the purposes of demonstrating so then we're going to go ahead and add that as well and so now you can see oh it didn't take my oh, i forgot to label it here so again if anytime you need to edit it you can go over into that little uh you can go over into that little edit style button and you can always change it anything to anything that you want so if you need to change the name or if I just don't like these, I can delete them if I want. So now, whenever I add, let's say, a basic shape, what I can do is I can go over into my brand kit, and if I click this green, it will become that green. If at any point I want to detach the style, I can go ahead and detach it. Now let me show you what that means exactly. So now I've got two of these, okay? If I go here and I click on this green, what that's what I'm now limited to because I'm using a style I've attributed a style is I'm limited to my brand colors okay so to change this color that's linked to this style I would have to come over here and actually change the color but let's say I don't want these two blocks to be the same because maybe I'm working on a one-off label that's gonna have some crazy psychedelic color well that's a good uh, that's a good time to unlink the style. So I can detach the style and it becomes a normal code, a normal color code, so I can go over here and change it to whatever I want. So in case you were confused on how this link works, it's gonna be really helpful for keeping everything consistent and coherent, especially if you're duplicating labels and things like that for uh, or, or logos or merch designs or whatever that you're gonna do with your brand. But if you ever need stuff to be completely different, all you have to do is just detach or unlink that style so that you can freely change it as you want. And if you've ever made a mistake, so if you just went way off the rails and you're like, oh man, I don't know what I'm doing, you can always go over here and just reselect your brand color from the left, okay? So that's how the linking structure works with this little detach style. You can also just completely remove the color by just taking it off and then you, you're welcome to uh, add a color to it. But what that did is basically just delete the, the block, okay? Because there wasn't a design that had multiple things in it, it just completely deleted the block. So for example, if I had a border on this, um, maybe I wanna remove the color Instead of detaching the style, I would remove the color, but the border is still there. And now I can add a color and I can go in here and I can change it to whatever I want. Now let's go ahead and add some shadow styles. So if we go into the shadow styles, what that's doing is it's it's going to attribute a shadow to any kind of element that you're using. Now you can see right here, there's a white dot here. And as I increase the offset, you can see 
that there is a shadow moving around to uh, on this object. Now, we don't have anything. I can also increase or decrease the blur. Now, we don't have anything specifically in this design that is a shadow. Let's just say maybe we were making a really special label and we do want some shading on these um, on these little badges right here. What I could do is go over here and add shadow to it. Maybe I want the shadow to be um, the same kind of minty green and we will uh, decrease the offset a little bit and we'll decrease the blur and so I don't know maybe you just want it that way maybe you don't I can go over here into the styles I can have this as splash you can name it whatever you want add style to brand kit and now it is over here and I can edit it at any point so you can see here it has got the color there it's got the offset it's got the angle if at any point I want to increase or decrease the the offset I can hit publish changes and it will it'll exactly affect that change over in the label. I don't know if uh, hopefully you saw how that happened, but let's, let's say you don't like that. That's too much. You can go over here, decrease the offset back over here, increase the blur a little bit, hit publish, and it's going to affect it over here. And you can keep tweaking that as you want. So you can also see here that the style is linked. So when you are uh, you, when you are selecting the shadow, any change that you make, you need to make over here. Or if you have multiple shadows selected, what you can do is select from them within your brand kit. So at any point you want multiple colors, multiple logo, uh, multiple fonts, multiple shadows, hatching, decoration, photos, whatever, whenever you want any of that, you can add it to a new style. So for example, let's say that most of your designs are going to use this color, this linear gradient color. Well, that's great because I can go into the styles. I can click create color style, and this is going to be our gradient green. We're going to add it to the splash and now I'm going to add it to my style and boom, there it is. So at any point, I can add this to a new label. I can add it to a new font. So if I were to duplicate this font and we're going to change this to something like, uh, I don't know, something crazy like that. You can see here it's already applied, but I can click the green to apply that yellow or like I said, go back to the gradient green and it will apply that as well. In addition to any objects that I want. I can go back to my brand kit here on the left. I can click gradient green, boom, it's applied gradient green. So hopefully you're getting an idea for how powerful this is. Even if you just wanted to set up custom color palettes for a variety of different projects, maybe you're working with clients, maybe you're just working on your own personal stuff, maybe you have a bustling print on demand business where you use the same kind of colors across lots of different designs, you can set up brand kits with predetermined brand styles inside of them like text color shadow text uh sorry shading decoration and filters so maybe you have a style of filter photo filter that you use for images so for example let me just get rid of all of this i'll go ahead and select a photo um, I'll just select this cool looking tree and maybe we know that we're always going to use a much more brighter and less contrast photo with some grain on it to get that like kind of vintagey film, maybe a little bit decreased saturation. And that's just the style that we like maybe. And so what we can do is we can go over here into styles. Uh, we'll just label this as, uh, let's say vintage. It's already in splash, add to style, and then that is going to be reflected over here in our brand kit photo filter, which we can go in at any time and change to what we want. And so anytime we add a new photo, let's say we go this one, we can go back to our brand kit and I can click vintage and it will apply that same effect to it. So it's a really easy way to apply all of your effects immediately when you want them. So let me go ahead and just get rid of these two for a second. So let's go ahead and build out the rest of our brand kit for this template that we've been using. Let's go ahead and add Sundays as a secondary font. So I'm gonna go to textiles. I know it's Sundays. I'm gonna go, well, instead of, of, logo, of a logo or a secondary, I'm just gonna call it label and go ahead and add that style. 
let's go ahead and add some text decoration. So maybe we are working on a special label and we want some text decoration. Um, maybe we want it to be hatched, okay? And we want the hatching to be that yellow. That actually looks kind of cool, honestly. Um, and mm, mm, we could go crazy with it. Uh, let's see, distance, uh, I mean, yeah, that looks kind of cool. Let's just say that that's what it is for the sake of this demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and call this, we'll just call it hatching because that's kind of what it is. We're going to have it on the splash one here and we're going to add it to the style there. And you can see over here, boom, it says hatching. So now we've got a photo filter. We've got a text decoration style. We've got a logo outline. We've got a shadow in place. We've got a bunch of different colors and we've got different text styles. If at any point I want to edit the name, I can do that. Um, Splash Co, let's say <laughs> that's what it is. If at any point I want to add more text styles, I can easily go through. I can click more retro. We could find even more that are going to work. Maybe we want a nice script to go along with this. Um, maybe let's go. Yeah, let's go to script. Let's say this one is super cool and we'll call this like sub, uh, sub text, whatever you want to call it. You can also increase the, you can also pre save like text size, letter spacing, things like that. But for now, we'll go with this. So we're going to go ahead and add that. So now we've got our text style. We've got our logo type, label, subtext. We can keep adding colors from here if we want. You can go, you can add, let's say we're just going to go crazy. Um, you know, we can go sun orange. Maybe we're going to do a crazy like orangey seltzer at one point. And then we can go add to style. Boom, there it is. And like I said, if we don't like that, boom, delete, make sure we confirm. And that is how it goes. Now, the next question you're probably going to ask is, can I save elements and assets? So for example, these lemons, this badge, uh, this little icon with the logo. And the answer is almost. So we are working on releasing that feature called brand assets or it may be something a little bit different, but essentially that's what it'll be. You're gonna have your brand kit, which is gonna contain everything like your brand styles. And then you're also gonna have the ability to save your brand assets or your elements, your icons, your images, whatever. It's all gonna be in one place for you to recall for your brand. And let me know in the comments if you're super excited for that. I'm very excited with all of the side project stuff I do as well as everything I'm doing inside Kittle all the time. You know I'm adding that Kittle logo. I'm adding our colors. This is gonna speed up my process as an actual Kittle employee. So I know it's gonna speed up yours. Let me know what you think about this feature, about this new design brand kit in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.